There's a great story in the book about uh, the time your friend, uh, I think his name is Zeke. Yeah, Zeke uh, you, He dared you to get on a freight train. Yeah. You, do you remember this? Should I just read it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, I remember Zeke, I remember By the way, train. wait till you read this book. You're not gonna believe all the stuff that happened to you. <laughs> well, it's a long story. <laughs> no, I remember Zeke and a train. From there, it's kind of blurred. He <laughs> dared you to jump on, I think, from Fort Worth to California. You were supposed to take the train. Oh, and we threw our uh, luggage on the first car and was going to catch the second car, and we missed the whole damn train. <laughs> so there went our luggage out in West Texas. <laughs> <laughs> He never made it to California. Oh, there wasn't that much in the <laughs> luggage anyway. There's a rumor that you once smoked pot on the roof of the White House. I've heard that. Yeah. But you have... <laughs> no, I'm probably asking the wrong guy, but did that happen? I've heard that. You know, <laughs> I've heard that once you get up there, all the streets are coming in at you from different directions. And, uh... and you have to do something to calm down. Well, I, th I would think so. You know, if it ever happened, I definitely would have to calm down. That's what you were friendly with President Carter. That's Very, yeah. you knew all. Well, you you've met all the presidents, I assume. Well, Jimmy Carter is is you know a real close friend, and uh, him and his wife Rosalind come up and sing the gospel stuff with us. You know, when we go down and play planes or Atlanta. So no, they're old friends, good people. Did they know you were smoking pot allegedly on the roof of the White House? <laughs> I forgot to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Nelson is here. This is a book. It's called It's a Long Story. We'll be right back. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Want to see more? Well, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here. It's just like subscribing to a magazine, but without those annoying cards that fall out of them.